Hey, what's going on there? Welcome. Uh, this is Leo. Um, welcoming you again to this module, right, with Facebook Advertising uh, course. And today we're going to be talking about introduction to Facebook pages. Um, last video, we talked about how to create a Facebook page. Um, so now we're just going to dive deeper a little bit of the other functions you can do. Um, quick, quick fact that I got from Facebook is that there are now 70 million active business pages on Facebook. I mean, that's a lot of business pages. Um, so definitely there's a value in that, not only because it's what you need to advertise on, to be able to do run advertising, you need a Facebook business page, but also because it's what, you know, if you're going f with this for the long run, uh, is what um, Google picks up as a, um, uh, you know, when somebody's searching for something, like if, if somebody's searching for your business name, uh, it will pick up your business page, not your personal profile. So um, definitely there's power in having your page and have it completed as much as possible. Again, especially if you go in the long run, you're looking to build your business page, um, you know, as much as possible. I mean, maybe most of you are, are, are starting and it, things may change every now and then, right? So you can always make the changes, but at the same time, you're building your, um, your brand with the Facebook business page. It's like basically having your um, free, free billboard out there, right? You don't have to pay for anything. Um, why not have, have another uh, additional billboard um, on the internet, just like a website or, um, you know, having a, a listing on Google, Yelp, etc. Uh, so one thing I wanted to go over with, um, yeah, we talk about the importance of having business, Facebook business page, right? Because it's basically free uh, advertising, um, and also because it's um, free advertising in the sense that you know it, it it it's out there, it's public, right? Public information that you're not paying to have it. Um, the other thing is that it is again, it's what you need to run a Facebook business ad, uh, 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 Facebook ads. And one thing I wanted to advise you is, from personal experience, is you know be careful from when you're running ads, not to do or boost, not to try to do any any posts from your personal profile. Um, I don't know if that can it's not possible anymore. But when I first got started, you know maybe I don't know three, four years ago with Facebook advertising, uh, my ad account got banned just because of that reason I was trying to advertise um, something on my personal profile. How did that happen? <laughs> you know, I don't know how I was able to get to do that. I don't know. I don't even know if it's possible anymore, but uh, um, yeah, just be mindful of that. In order for you to be able to run ads, Facebook ads, you do need that um, business page created, which we cover on the last video. So. You know, as I mentioned a little bit on the past video, you know, take advantage of as much as possible on your business page. Uh, now, don't get stuck on all of this, right? If you right now are ready to go and do the advertising, you know, focus on that. Go ahead and get started with that. Um, but, you know, at the same time, when you're done with your ad, come back and try to build as much as possible and structure from your business page. Again, just because you want as much ranking as possible. For example, um, there's this business I used to work with or, or that I'm working with. Um, it's a pest control here, right? So or let's say, for example, a business here local, right? See, uh, a, a, a Facebook page is what comes up, right? Obviously, they don't have a personal profile, but as you can see, uh, Google picks up that. Uh, another example, and as you can see, their Facebook page uh, doesn't even come up. They have so many other um, rankings that Google is looking at that um, it's more and more powerful, much more, more powerful. Um, but let's see uh, another one here real quick. So let's go ahead and get started. You, I, I hope you got the idea now how important it is to have your profile complete as much as possible. Uh, try to get that as you know when you can. Um, some of the things that you might want to do to take advantage, fully advantage, is of course have your uh, cover, right? Your Facebook page cover, just like you see here with Ray Higgins, because it's like a big banner when first people first come in. Have your profile if it's a per, you know if it's your personal brand or if you have a logo, uh, go ahead and do that. 
other things you can do to maximize your business page. Okay, we already talked about having a cover photo video, uh, complete the about section as much as possible. Uh, Ray Higgin is a bad example, but I think um, a good example I could give you is, for example, right, if I go and do my page, uh, Leo Callejas. Um, just try to complete as much as possible, uh, right? Every single detail that you can put in. And again, what I do, it's basically try to copy everything from my spreadsheet that I have so that the about section, the details, um, I have it all already pre-populated and all I have to do is copy and paste, okay? And again, it all because there's more information I can provide to people visiting me so that they have a clear understanding of what is it that I can help with, okay? Uh, number ratings and reviews. So if you, again, are looking to build long relationships, um, not just run the ads, you know, to actually build a, an actual business, long-term business, um, you know, go ahead and enable the, the reviews um, section, right? And uh, you can do that through, let me go to my business manager. Um, it should be enabled by default. When you first go and set up the pages, it lets you know, it, it lets you ask what, what sort of things you want um, enable. And um, let's see, so this is messages, templates and tabs. In order to templates and tabs, you can pick what uh, kind of, what sort of menu you want people to see, right? Depending on, on again, on your business, how you want to build it. But again, utilize some of this stuff that are available. Like for example, reviews. If you look into uh, build a, a reputation online, uh, make sure you have reviews available and invite people to leave your review, right? If you, for example, provided uh, something of value to a person, one of the ways that uh, you can have the person to uh, thank you for your time is, you know, see if they can leave your review. Um, if you, in some way, your business can come up with ways that you can provide offers, uh, do that because, again, this is things that can be public. Like if you have a special deal going on, a discount, um, go ahead and do that event, right? Do you have a training coming up or workshop that you want to provide to your list, right? Um, you can, uh, again, use those. Um, use these tabs to help you to uh, promote um, things that you may have going on. And there's some other coding you can do to add additional stuff. Like, for example, I have a cheat sheet over here, 134 ways to get leads. Um, and I use a service that gives you the the ability to connect to your Facebook Facebook page and, and, and enough for that for people that want to see as a way to generate leads. So enable ratings and reviews. And we can see here, right, the profile. You have, for example, this is a local business, Victoria Bell Spa. Uh, book now, send message. Uh, so similar things you can do with your own business page, right? Make sure you have call actions as many possi possible places, as many places as possible, right? Pretty much where you want to be online, everywhere that you want to be online, you want to do as much as possible to create conversions. Creation could be, you know, depends on, on where you are in your business. It could be create a lead, create a phone call, uh, create a message, uh, people to contact you, etc. Uh, make sure that if you have a local location or your service specific area, make sure that you provide that information so that the maps comes up, the phone number, right, yeah, uh, website, uh, etc. Uh, ratings, right? If you are big into having other people talk about you, you know, get build your reputation online, um, build social proof, what is called. You can, um, you know, by like I mentioned before, have the reviews enabled so that. Um, that can be visible there. Uh, other th things that are good, we already talked about the call to action in the past video, right? Some of the call to actions, which is the little the button that you see um, over here that you can place over here. These are call to actions. Uh, you can change, you can use any of these options over here. Book now, start order, get in touch. Call now, sign up, apply now, contact us, send a message, an email, uh, etc. I mean, that you can see the list there uh, and see how many more options you have. Now, let's go over here now to uh, other advantages that you have with your Facebook page, right? It's basically a way for you to be able to communicate with your customers as well, right? Um, 
you can pin a post, uh, boost post. I don't recommend it much. Uh, I usually think I usually um, do the go through the Facebook ads manager or the business ads manager to uh, control any advertising. Uh, but that's you know the very simple way to get started with advertising. Um, engage your local community, right? We already talked about engaging your local community. If you have um, groups, you know, communities, you can link the groups to your pages uh, so that people are aware that, um, so that people are aware that you have communities as well, that you build on communities. I think I have one linked to here. Uh, maybe if I go to communities, it's where it's gonna show what groups are linked to. Um, can't remember. Or maybe I don't have that tab enabled. That's probably what happened. Uh, so yeah, have that tab enabled could be a good idea. Maybe have it. I have a link to another page. Um, what else? Event, right? If you are big into uh, providing. Uh, workshops to your community to either be an online community or offline community right in your local market uh, let, pe let people know what you have events coming up uh, that's another way of collecting leads right if you have a webinar coming up if you are big into that um, you know this is another area where you can promote your uh, something coming up for free you can out and also you can uh, run advertising to that uh, event you may have coming up uh, to collect more leads. Communicate with people one to one, so make sure that you set up your your bots or your messaging platform, right? You can uh, Facebook allows you to uh, put some some settings related to um, when people send you a message. Obviously, you, you know it's up to you if you want to have it enable or not the message button. Um, I would recommend it to have it if you are in a stage in your business where you're starting and you want to, uh, you know, have as many options as possible to, for people to communicate with you, um, until you all get overwhelmed at least, right? And then you can have an assistance if needed. Um, but yeah, these are different type of settings you can go into. So we have over here, prompt people to send messages. Okay. That will be basically a tab that will come up. Uh, especially if somebody's, it's, um, what's a good example? This one doesn't have it. Um, you see the big pages will have it like, I don't know. Um, I just want to show you an example. Mm. Well, not sure if you've seen it, but uh, a, a good reminder it is that uh, when people visit you, there's a message that will come up inviting people to leave a message. Uh, or uh, or if you need any help, that's basically prompt people to send messages, right? Uh, when you visit business pages, um, send instant replies to anyone. That I have that turned off, but you can have that to send um, instant replies. Um, stay responsive. Show messenger greeting, right? Like if somebody touches the send message button, you can have a an option to have uh, somebody send you a message. All right, or or actually, you can have the bot system um, uh, reply with a message. Um, you can have reminders as well. What else we have here? All right, so now that uh, having those uh, automated responses will help you with your response rates, right? So obviously, one of the things that will um, affect people when you visit the pages is how fast are you to get back to them and so having your response rate um, will help you you know give them give uh, will help people know that you provide great customer service by providing good response rate and having a you know the the the, the, the settings that Facebook has in there would allow you to respond to some people uh, in a faster way, or at least let them know that you got their message or or that you'll be checking with them soon. You can have um, the settings here within the messaging platform. Um, you can have it um, uh, enable and set up in a way that they can provide a message greeting or a message back. Mm, what else do we have here? Let's see. I want to make sure I cover everything. 
communicate with customers, manage and measure results. Um, so one way to manage your business page is um, the business pages have their own app. So you can look it up on your iTunes market, you know, on your, on your app store if you have I, I, uh, iTunes, iPhone devices, or you can look it up on your Google market or your app store on Google, right? If you have a, a Google phone, um, there is a uh, Facebook page manager uh, that is separate from your regular uh, Facebook application to manage your pages. You can um, use that, especially if you manage multiple pages. Inbox is just basically a way for you to, um, you know, where, where you go and check your inbox messages, right? If people message us on your business page, um, just like when they do on a, um, on a regular personal pay profile, right? You have your inbox as well on your business page. As you can see, it looks very similar, but it have other functions like manage labels, um, uh, uh, another menu, ban people from pages, uh, etc. Right? You can have like a sort of like an inbox you can manage. Like if you have money, put multiple people following conversation that manage your pages. You can assign to somebody. Um, and you can mark uh, something as the lead conversation. You can mark it as spam. You can mark it as uh, done. So that will go to another inbox that Facebook has. As you can see, there are multiple inbox here uh, where you can follow up with different emails, okay, or messages. Uh, then you have page insight, which will help you to um, get to know a sort of, of some uh, analytics related to your business page, especially if you post things that um, on your profile, right? Uh, if you post things on your profile and, and, and you want to see what sort of things you may want to boost to uh, to your existing audience to code, sort of re-engage them, um, you can see here on the profile what uh, what things are available, okay? You can see there, for example, over here, right? Um, these are posts that I've been done, and you can see the, people, the amount of people are reached, the engagement area, and uh, or the engagement that has been done. And so what that's going to do is give you some feedback information, like, okay, what um, is there anything that uh, I posted so far, right? I had great reach organically and great engagement organically that I sh that it would be worth it to um, put some money behind, right? And pay some ads. Um, so that's something you can do to come over here and post and see the analytics of some of the posts, uh, see the get type of engagement that it had so that um, you can see if it's worth it to uh, put some money behind. Uh, overview of the inside, it just basically gives you a quick overview of um, different things you, you have going on. Like if you want to see if you're gaining, po you know, how many people are reaching your post, how many people are liking your page, actions on page, page view, uh, etc. right? Uh, mostly it's good to, to have, like if you have a, a lot of engagement on the page, um, it's it, to build a lot of engagement of a page, obviously, you know, it's, it's mostly for bigger brands a lot of, uh, if you're doing paid advertising, et, et cetera, don't, I mean, you may want, don't want to need this to come here too often. If, or if, if you're not putting too much advertisement or, or not doing a lot of or things organically, or I don't, or are doing a lot of organic things and you don't have a big oh. following yet, then, um, maybe, you know, there's not a lot of information you can find useful here, but yeah, that's where you will come to see some insights in regards to, your pages uh, analytics, your Facebook page analytics. So that's a little quick introduction, reference different areas on a Facebook, Facebook page, things that you can do. Um, there's so much more you can go into the settings, but um, yeah, to not keep, to make, to not make this video too long, um, you know, just um, let's keep it that way. I'm sure you can definitely research some of the other things you can do uh, on Google or yeah or yeah or YouTube, um, but yeah, I don't want to make this video too long, so we can move forward to what you probably perhaps are interested in the most, which is how to get started with Facebook advertising. All right, have a good one.